initiate latch valve close command and propulsion system disable. Tank pressure and temperature steady. 290 PSI and 25 C. I heard about the potential collision on Thursday evening. I thought, oh, that's, that's odd. Um, but let's not panic just yet. And then we got an update on Friday and it looks worse. Oh, my heart sank. <laughs> um, so we then continued um, over the weekend and it just, you know, didn't get better. There are all kinds of things uh, orbiting the Earth. Uh, obviously the active spacecraft that we're still using, but also uh, expired spacecraft many of them still on orbit. And then there are uh, old uh, parts and then real debris down to flecks of paint. If you see a piece of debris far enough in advance, you can decide to alter your orbit to make sure that your orbit and its orbit don't intersect, that there isn't a collision. Fermi is a special kind of telescope designed to make observations of the universe in the highest energy form of light, in gamma rays. Fermi sees gamma rays from supermassive black holes, gamma rays from the remnants of stars that have exploded at the end of their life. But we also see gamma rays from flares from the sun. We get a very different picture, and thus a much deeper understanding of what you're looking at. Late March of 2012, uh, we got a call from the Department of Defense. There was a defunct Russian satellite in an orbit that would intersect Fermi's orbit in about a week. It isn't that they knew they were gonna hit, it was that they didn't know that they weren't going to hit. So that's something we had to be concerned about. Those two spacecraft were occupying the same space within 30 milliseconds of each other. That's why this was scary. These are objects, several tons each, as wide as a small airplane, traveling 20 times faster than a bullet. The Fermi mission would be over. The spacecraft almost certainly would not survive that. The basics of the collision avoidance maneuver is we just use our thrusters to alter our orbit a slight amount just to provide a little bit of separation between ourselves and the other piece of space debris. We hadn't ever used the propulsion system before and using something for the first time was going to be a major decision. We had to decide of the two disasters that could happen, the, a collision with another satellite or a fatal failure with a propulsion system, what decision is most defendable? And we concluded that we really needed to proceed with the burn. Latch valves open, line pressure rising. Normally, the, uh, the spacecraft is uh, orbiting the Earth, looking at the sky. So in preparation for the maneuver, it changes its attitude, parks its solar arrays, and its high gain antenna to be out of the way of the thrusters. The, the maneuver itself is just fire all thrusters for one second. And then after that's done, then the spacecraft goes back to normal science. one second maneuver. Copy. Maneuver complete. It was a huge relief, a huge uh, weight off my, off my chest. Having done the maneuver and avoided a collision, means we continue operating. Um, so continue doing the great science that we have been doing over the past four and a half years. <laughs>